One of the most frequent questions we get asked when it comes to carpet lining your van is how much carpet do I need? Well, today we're gonna be answering that question. My name's Lee, this is Coon Valley Campers, and today we're gonna to be talking about how much carpet do I need to carpet line my van? Today, we're gonna to be concentrating on a short wheelbase VW T6. This van in particular belongs to a long time friend of the company and previous customer, Kyle. And he's basically built the vehicle using all of our videos. You might be able to spot some of the nice parts such as a Rusty Lee swivel seat base. We've got a carpet set up the front from Heritage Parts. We've got sound deadening throughout from Dodo Mats and we've got some ply panels that we recommend as well. And he's got to the stage where he needs to do the carpeting. Now we thought we'd take this perfect opportunity to show you guys how much carpeting you actually need. When the vehicle was bought by the customer, it was lined in this gray lining that you can see here, but the owner would like to completely change the look of the vehicle and he also needed to rip the carpet off to insulate and sound deaden the vehicle to his liking as well. So what we're going to do today first off is rip out all the old grey carpet lining from everywhere that you see then we're going to strip out the panels we need and we're going to start carpeting straight away. It's not going to be a full how-to carpet video because we've got one of those already. It's actually one of our most popular videos and you can check it out in the link down below. And we've also carpeted ply panels as well so it's not going to be a how-to on ply panels. Again there's a video down below but what we are going to do is run through each part of what carpeting you need and how much it's going to take and fortunately coon valley campers now sell carpet lining so you can buy all this carpet from a link right up here too so we're going to be covering all bases for you today once again not going to be a full video in terms of how to but if you want to know exactly how much you need for your van click on this time down below and then you'll be able to see what carpet you need for your van Let's get on with it. We are now ready to start the carpeting. Fortunately for us, we have a roll of a multitude of carpets over there. And for the purpose of this build and for you at home, we're gonna be rolling the carpet straight off the reel into the van and cutting it where we need to. So there should be no excess, no waste, and we can tell you exactly how much it is you will need. Now, I've been doing this a long time, so um, there won't be much excess and, and I know where I can save carpet or use more carpet, etc., etc. Generally, we will say for a van this size, you will need about 12 meters of carpet. Now that will cover both sides, the rear doors, the sliding door, the ceiling, and the door panels if you're carpeting them separately. But what we're gonna do is figure it out exactly. Like I said, I've done this lots of times before, there's not gonna be much waste. So for people at home who have not done this before, you might find that you make a mistake or you might need a bit more here, there, or everywhere, or you might want to fill in places. So that's what we're gonna to do today. It's a, 
exercise purely for you guys so um, you can see what's used and where. In terms of this van here, you'll notice it's got a pop top. So we will be carpeting from the edge of the canvas all the way around this bit down to the floor. Now that doesn't matter because when you receive carpet off the roll from us, um, it'll be two meters in width. So this will easily cover this space. When you are carpeting a van without a pop top, for example, you will start your carpeting from about here. So in terms of the length and the amount of carpet you are gonna be using between a, route, uh, a vehicle with a pop top roof and a vehicle without a pop top roof, you will be using the same in terms of length. But just to point out, we are carpeting all the way around this piece in one go, all right? So without further ado, let's reel out that carpet and start gluing. But before we do start, make sure when you are carpeting with the glue, you are in a well ventilated area. We have the roof up on this today. We have both vents. If your canvas opens, please open that up as well and make sure what to wear a form of mask. Um, the fumes that come out of um, an aerosol can be harmful. So do as much as you can to protect yourself from breathing that in. And I'm using one of these filtered masks today. Um, and there we go, be careful with blades and scissors when you're using them. If you feel better wearing gloves, please do. Um, I'll be using a retractable, sorry, a fold away Stanley today with replaceable blades. And I suggest you do very similar to that. All the tools that we do use, again, are available down in the link in the description, which will lead you to our shop. Um, let's stop the waffle and get on with it. We have one side completed from the B pillar all the way through to the C D pillar here. Now, if you were to measure that from point to point, that's 2.5 meters. However, there are variations in different vans to the point where you'd carpet it slightly different, maybe. Um, plus, distributors like myself, we sell carpet by the meter, not the half meter. So, for the long side, we're looking at three meters. If we go over to the other side, the same we're looking at three meters there also um, and I say that because I'm gonna carpet this in two halves we're going to no that's a lie in fact because we are having the top line of the pop top roof all in one piece I'm literally gonna carpet that whole one side as well in one go so that's three meters as well so we're already up to six in terms of the headlining, that's another 2.5 meters. So that is nine meters worth of carpet then. For the sliding door and two back doors, you're easily at another three meters. So effectively, you are going to be using 12 meters safely to carpet a T5 short wheelbase. I will continue to carpet now. Um, we'll do the other side and then we'll move on to the back doors and then the panels themselves but just so we can have a comprehensive breakdown, basically, of all the different bits and pieces. So let's get on with it.
Check it out then. We have both sides carpeted. We have used six meters of carpet so far. Three and three. We have carpeted from this point all the way up and down the bottom there in one piece. Now, some of you might say it's a bit of a waste of material. However, this large piece that we cut out from this sliding door can be used for potentially three panels. We can, we can use it to cover the panel for the sliding door itself, or we can use it to cover the two smaller panels, or even the rear barn doors, or even the tailgate piece. So we're not just uh, taking the best meat off the, off the carcass, we're gonna pick every little bit off until we've used everything up, and that's what we're gonna do in terms of the carpet. All of these other off cuts that are long and thin, we can cover the front part of this headlining there, for example, and the same across the back here as well. So we are utilizing every bit. So we've got those three meters. In this van, we will be using three plus three to cover the whole headboard. So if we were to do, do a normal short wheelbase, we would say 12 meters in a short wheelbase with the need to cover the boards for the pop top. I would say add another three for certain. Um, but what we're gonna do now is, um, or there's two things we've got left to do really. One is we're gonna cut out these shapes inside the metalwork. You don't have to, like this can keep all your um, sound deadening in and then you just mark the holes and punch through the holes where you're gonna mount your ply panels. And the same for here, here and here as well. So you can cut them out um, but what we're gonna do now is go over to the table and we're going to peel off um, carpet, lay it on the table, and lay out all of our ply panels and cover them one by one. And then by the end of this, we will have carpeted ply panels for the entire van and then you can see exactly how much you need. With all the interior lined with those one large pieces either side, we can now concentrate our efforts on the ply panels. Now before you get to this stage, mock up your panels into the side of the van to make sure they all fit. And then the other important thing is just to mark which side you're carpeting. Because with the panel, such as this one here, which is the long side, goes about here on a van, they're identical both sides. So you don't want to carpet both the same side, so to speak. So yes, definitely mark them. So what I'm gonna do now is reel the carpet off and just mock up the amount of carpet I need just so I'm not gonna waste anything, really. The carpet comes off the roll as two meters um, and we shall position this card and maybe one other on the carpet so you're wasting as little as possible. And what I did do, as you saw in the last shot, was cutting out the areas that I don't need on the large back panel and under the sliding window uh, because we can utilize those to cover smaller panels such as the little cover plate which goes in the middle of the van about here and in this case the rear door panel and those panels will be perfectly big enough so we're trying to save as much material as we can utilize every piece of we've got to um, and we're trying to get the best result as well um, as i said when you're carpeting one of the long sides you've got a long strip of carpet down the bottom as well depending where you're starting on the headliner uh, or at least the roof of the van and all of the scraps will easily cover these all right so we're still at that 12 meters let's go on with it
we have now made enough carpet templates for our panels and that is using as many of the scraps as possible so cutouts of the panels we've done etc the next time you see all these panels they will be carpeted and they will have these invisible trim clips in them and they just slot in oh, come on i was going to say like so come on you there you go they slot in like that and what that will do is enable this carpet to lay on top of that now once it's all carpeted down you won't be able to tell that there is a fixing underneath all right so yeah that's going to take me a couple of hours so i will save you the hassle of watching me do that because we have already done it in a video like i've said before um i'll trim around the window i'll trim around the top and then like i said by the next time i see you all of that will be completed and we'll be popping in the new panels see you then it is a new day. We have carpeted all of our panels. When you last saw us, we were just starting this. In fact, we were we had just cut out all of the carpet and we were about to do it. So we've, we've carpeted them all off screen. And um, the last thing to do before we pop them all in is to fit the trim clips. And these are known as hidden or invisible trim clips. And what they are designed to do is fit in the holes of the panels and then when you pop them in the van into the supplied sort of trim holes um, you won't be able to see them because they will fit underneath the carpet lining and let me show you how to do that so you may be wondering why we're doing this in the uh, front of the shop today where it's noisy and other people are trading well it's a nice day and we're a workshop and uh, it's nice to open the door. So let's just smash on with it and I will make no excuses for any background noise. Um, two ways you can fit your clips then. You can fit them before you carpet the panel and that'll save you doing what I'm just about to do. And that is using a, an implement like a screwdriver or in this case we've got a hipped, hooked pick tool and I've got that just because it's got sort of a soft surface there. And I'm just gonna pop that in and just sort of release the carpet away from the uh, ply. And then all I'm gonna do is slot that clip into there. And that's it. That will pop into the metalwork of the vehicle. And if I flip that round, invisible fixing. I've only got about another hundred of these to do, and then we can pop them in the van. As a bit of a tip for the top, those things start to rag on your fingertips after a little while of doing them. So what I've got is just a set of adjustable grips there. Just makes your life a little bit easier. And you can use whatever you want or even just put a pair of gloves on maybe. But yeah, after a hundred or so of these, you start to feel it a little bit. Now all of the panels have been carpeted and we've put all the clips in. Now it's time to pop them into the van. And when I carpeted the van, I didn't mark any holes. Um, you can do, but I didn't because A, I've done this before and B, I know how to make the holes right now. And that is gonna be using a drill with a countersink bit in. Um, I would recommend you use something with a hard taper because it's just, if it's a soft, if it's a more gradual taper, if you put the countersink bit in the hole, um, it could actually grab and then make that hole a load wider. So all you're after doing is really putting this countersink bit in the hole and then just removing the carpet. You don't want to enlarge that hole at all, otherwise your clips will never stay in place. So um, what I'm going to do is look at the clips that we've got in this top panel. I'm going to feel around on this piece of metal here where there are holes i'm literally going to pop that countersink bit in and that's it hole through the carpet made find the next one in relation to the clips that are corresponding on the wood so the next one's here 
and there we go the holes aren't made any bigger but it's a really neat way of just removing the carpet away from that hole so once again just another hundred or so of these to do and we'll pop all the panels back in once all the holes are cut it's just simply a case of punching the panel in Easy as that. Again, just another five or six panels to do. There we have it, a completely carpeted short wheelbase T5. And in this instance, we've carpeted the entire bed board and perimeter of the pop top roof as well. And we haven't just done the bit you can see, we've done the tops of those boards too. So to answer the question of the title of this video, how much carpet do I need to line my van? As a rule of thumb, if you've got a short wheelbase van such as a T5, T6, a Vivaro or um, a Transit Custom, you need 12 meters of carpet off of a two meter roll. Now, if you had to come to our website at www.coombuddycampers.co.uk, um, we sell the carpet by the meter um, off a two meter roll. So if you were to click 12 meters, then you'd get 12 meters off a two meter roll. and um, as a good rule of thumb, for every metre of carpet you get off the roll, you'll need one tin of spray adhesive, the high temperature spray adhesive which we showed you earlier. Um, if you have a long wheelbase fan, I would give yourself 15 metres. Now, when I'm talking about 12 metres, as I said at the beginning of the video, we're looking at carpeting one, two, three sides, plus the doors and any extras that may, you know, there might be little bits of trim or the interior that you might want to carpet on top of that. So there'll be some leftovers. There are ways that you can conserve the carpet, such as behind me, if you were to carpet the whole wall in one go, you can then cut out that area, use that bit of carpeting for some of these smaller panels or even the back door panels if you've got barn doors. It's all about conserving it. If you've got a long side like this um, without the one piece that you want to carpet for the high top you can get away with cut, uh, carpeting one the, the rear half of this side and then the sliding door panel and then you can conceal your join again if you want to know how to carpet your van we've got another video for that link is in the description and the same with the panels as well so short wheelbase mid-size van like this 12 meters long wheelbase 15 meters for the sides the ceiling and all the doors if you've got a crafter or a sprinter or a boxer or one of the larger size vans i can't give you a definitive amount of carpet because we've got high tops medium tops and regular steel top vans as well so it, my recommendation would be is to measure from the b pillar through to the back of the van and then give yourself another half meter or to the whole meter. So if you're from, from the B pillar to the back of the van is say 3.2 meters, then give yourself four meters, mainly because most retailers such as ourselves will sell it by the meter anyway. All right, um, and the same goes with uh, the headliner as well. Front to back, measure that, give yourself to round it up to a meter. So you'll always have a bit of excess. Um, and that's about it really. It's nice sometimes uh, to contrast the colors. Some people will go for a solid color on the walls and then the ply panels a different color. Some people will go for all the sides in one color and then the headliner in a contrasting color to maybe match the headliner of the cab. So there's loads of different things you can do. You can play around with it. Um, but 
hopefully that is enough information you will need to carpet your van. As I said, the carpet and adhesive is available from our web shop, as well as lots of other camper van conversion parts. The range is growing all the time, and we love seeing you get the stuff and then showing us via the likes of Instagram or Facebook, showing the progress of the vans as well. All the sound deadening you saw in this video today um, is from Dodo Matt, sorry, tried to <laughs> struggle to get that one out then. So Dodo Matt, and again, you can buy all of the sound deadening that you want from our website too. But once again, thank you very much for joining us. I hope the information is exactly what you're after, and we'll see you next time on Coombelly Campus. Thanks very much, bye-bye.